this video, I'm going to introduce you to materials. Materials are how we can actually attach color and textures to our game objects. Right now, we have a very white scene. And if I wanted to, I could make, for example, this capsule here. I could make that a variation of blue, for example. To do this, I'm going to right click my assets folder in the project view. And we're going to create a folder to store all of our materials in. Once we have our materials created, we can create, we can right click the folder, go to create, and you'll see here that we can create a material. There's actually a handful of items here for us to choose from with varying different effects, and you'll go through these as you start to build games. One of the secrets to learning Unity is that you only have to learn whatever it is immediately that you're trying to accomplish. At the end of the day, there is so much knowledge to be gained with Unity that it will take you a true lifetime to master this engine. It's continuously changing, and your job as a software engineer and game developer is to familiarize yourself with the tool set, the ability to solve problems and research it. As questions come into play, you're going to discover more and more about Unity, especially through this program. So right now, I want to change the color of game objects, which is done through materials. I'm going to rename this material here to, let's say, and it's okay if you accidentally click off this, you can actually right click it and you can choose to rename. And let's call this, let's call this the cylinder blue. We'll call this cylinder blue underscore matte. And this is just a naming convention that I recommend you follow. Um, the syntax here, not so much, doesn't really matter, but however, when you're working in a production environment, we're going to have a ton of materials and you might want to search all of your materials in this search bar by saying underscore mat and we can see the material there. Now that we have this material, uh, what we can do is we can change this albedo color in the inspector and we can use this color wheel to assign it a blue. Once we do that, we can actually drag it. If I click and hold and bring it into the scene view, I can see a preview of it and then I can just release it to attach it to that game object. Alternatively, I could attach the same material to object A in the hierarchy, and it will attach it to that color. Now what happens if I change this material from blue to, say, orange? You'll notice that both of them are changing. The reason for this is because they share the same material. If I wanted them to be different colors, I would have to create another material for it. So here we will right-click our Materials folder, select a new material, and we'll call this object B underscore mat. The underscore mat is really the only important part of this, but I like to be consistent and I usually will name things uh, with underscores in general. And you'll see here cylinder underscore blue mat, object B, capitalization, up to you. Um, I probably in an actual production environment would modify this to be cylinder blue underscore mat. The underscore mat lowercase is a standard um, across the industry. And here I can now change that color to let's make it a blue. And I can drag that onto object B. So I just click and drag, and there we go. So now I have two objects that have this cylinder. And if I modify that color, they change. And now I have object B, which is the cube. And I can change that to whatever I want, and only that one is going to be affected. If we look on the actual game object that itself, you'll see here that object B has the material object B underscore mat assigned, and I can actually modify it right here um, on this property. But again, if I change the cube, because there's only one material for it, you'll see here that it changes that color. But if I were to click on, let's say, the cylinder or the capsule that has the green material, what happens if I change it here? Is it going to change the sphere as well? The answer is yes, because again, they share the same material. So any object that shares the material is going to be uh, manipulated when you modify the color, which is the albedo channel here. Play around with this, create a couple materials, assign them to the game objects, and I'll see you in the next video.